in trances Going all to different places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed You like the fast life You like to drive and get down and dirty I got the bad guy what's up and welcome back to my channel for another video and my first video of 2024 i'm so happy that you clicked on this video and hopefully you're ready to get some motivation because this video is so freaking satisfying i got so much done but y'all this is over days you can see i'm wearing the same shirt in two different parts of this video but different pants <laughs> should tell you what kind of person i am but um, I'm wearing multiple different outfits and you can see I'm wearing shorts here in the first part of the video I ended up wearing a coat and sweatpants through the house in the next part of the video because it was so freaking cold Um, we live in ohio. So like you just truly never know what you're going to get and what the house is going to feel like so Anyway, right here. I'm cleaning off my desk. This is like my little office Um, and if you kind of know like a little bit of the layout of my house, um, this is just like where I this is where this is like where my space in the house is. It's this little corner desk and I do absolutely love the location of it on my first floor. I'm able to sit at my desk but still like watch everything that's going on with my kids in the living room or, you know, cook dinner or whatever. So, um starting out with my desk because my desk just needed it cleaned so bad. And I know I have two pictures of my oldest sitting on my desk right now. It's because I don't have any pictures of my youngest for those frames. So I'm just waiting to get pictures ordered for those frames for him. But I did end up getting all of this cleaned up. I'm so glad because it turned out so nice. Like it's been so long since my desk been cleaned off, especially through the holiday season. Um, but if you'll notice uh, a little bit later on, there's a whole bunch of like leaves and stuff all over my desk, which you can, you can see, I'm finally starting to put those in a drawer um, to keep them safe. I've I've kept every single like leaf or rock or plant or like little flower that Milo has ever given me. And so I really want to keep them safe. I really want to buy a box for them to keep them in, but they've been in my windowsill and they're all like kind of falling out because there's so many of them. So I finally created a drawer space for them and I'm so excited to have my desk back y'all. I'm so, so excited. Oh, I want to can we trust the stars above to let us know? I am using this brand new Mrs. Meyer scent that my husband got me for Christmas 
and I am so obsessed with it. It smells so freaking good. It's called Compassion Flower, and I'm not really like a flowery type of smell kind of gal, um, but this one, it smells so stinking good. It smells like a really fruity perfume, so if you don't like that, probably don't get this. Um, it's not like too overpowering or anything, but it does give off a really strong um, kind of perfumey type of scent, and it's just, it smells so, so good. you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kinda strange Don't even know your name I got this picture for Christmas. My mom made myself and my siblings pictures of our dogs. Um, and she ordered these from Etsy. I'll try to figure out what shop it is. But these are our dogs right in front of the Disney castle. And they look so similar to our dogs. I just think this is such a precious thing. And I can't wait to put it under my other Disney World photo right there on the wall. I think I've waited all these years for you right here. We're starting off vacuuming the living room floor because this had not been vacuumed since the week before Christmas. And oh my gosh, it was so disgusting. You know how when you can really tell like that your your living room needs vacuumed, like it's it's time to vacuum. Like there was little needles from the um like the fake Christmas tree all over the floor. There's like bits of garland, um, tags from toys and like not to mention like all the dog hair and just like a whole, like so much hair and it needed a really 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 good clean And now I'm coming in with my carpet shampooer. This thing is a lifesaver. I love, love, love this machine. This is a Bissell, and I'm really not sure like what the actual name of it is, but it is a Bissell, and I will have it linked down below if I'm able to find it because this thing was so cost effective. Like I'm pretty sure I got mine for $89.99, which is amazing when it comes to a stand, like stand up carpet shampooer. So. It's also super easy to clean, which I really love. I told y'all these carpets were nasty. They were so disgusting. I haven't seen water quite that dark come out of my carpets, and I'm really not all too pleased that I let it get that way. I've been feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall, but tonight... 
now you can tell it's nice and bright in my house. This kitchen table has looked like this since, since Christmas Day. Like, I just couldn't get it cleaned off. But I finally did get it cleaned off. I washed the whole thing. And then we ended up taking this table downstairs in the basement and bringing up our old table um, and our old chairs and bench set. Um, and I'm really happy with it. It's been a really long time. We've had a circle table. But our little growing family has just, like, we've had it with the little round table. It's too small. Um, and we've had so many complications, like, trying to find room for plates and food and Mesa's high chair and just, like, all the different things that come with having a little itty bitty round table. So it was so cute while it lasted. I absolutely love it. And maybe one day we'll bring it back up. But like for now, the the bench set is now in the dining room. And I'm hoping to maybe paint that. So we'll kind of see how I feel about that. I hate painting. Um, if you also hate painting, let me know down below. Let me know that I'm not alone because I hate, hate a painting project. You don't let it go. enjoying some hopefully much needed motivation for you to get up and start deep cleaning something in your house. No matter how clean your house is, there's always something that can be cleaned. Um, and I promise you, you're going to feel better after you do it. So whether you're taking out a steam shot and cleaning baseboards, or you're just simply taking your broom and like sweeping your kitchen for five minutes, you're going to feel so much better afterward. Um, so I want to encourage you to get up and get moving and get your house a little bit more cleaned. It's going to just make you feel better and like boost your mood a little bit. So, um, and also 
I don't know about you guys, but like I said, it is January and it is time to clean the house a bit. So Peep, my little four-year-old who is helping me mop here, he loves, loves the OCD mop. Um, it's like one of his favorite things. Whenever I get it out, he's like, I want to mop, I want to mop. And he does such a good job. So let him know down in the comments below that he did such a phenomenal job. Um, and he saved my back a little bit. So I was pretty excited about that. Um, but that is pretty much it for this video. Um, stay tuned for some Disney packing videos because we are leaving for Disney in just about a week and a half now. And I'm so excited. So I hope you are too. I'll check you guys in those videos. And if you're not into the Disney thing, I will be back with more homemaking, deep cleaning, organizing, decluttering content later on this month. See you guys then. Bye.